about one of your homework problems. Okay, and the homework problem says the following. You are going to walk across the carpet. Here's the carpet. And when you walk across the carpet, you pick up charge. And now you have a net charge on you. And we talked about this in class. When you walk across the carpet, what kind of charge do you pick up? Do you pick up protons or do you pick up electrons? You pick up electrons. Electrons are hanging out on the tips of the carpet and they jump from the carpet to your shoes the same way that the electrons on your hair jump from your hair to the balloon when you rub the balloon on your head. You charge up the balloon with electrons. So you have a net negative charge. You are negatively charged when you walk across the carpet. Okay. Let's figure out how many electrons you actually picked up. And let's say that you acquired a charge of the following. 50 microcoulombs. 50 microcoulombs. That's probably a reasonable number for walking across the carpet. How many electrons is that? All right. We're just trying to convert from one unit to another. The unit that we're in is microcoulombs. The unit that we want to get to is electrons. Electrons, of course, have charge. We need to figure out what that conversion is. Let's start with the easy one, though. 50 microcoulombs is equal to 50 times 10 to the minus 6. That's what a micro means. Right? Micro is a millionth, which is 10 to the minus 6. And now I want to multiply this by 1. Anytime you're converting units, you just want to multiply by 1. And you look at the units that you need to cancel. You need to cancel coulombs, so we had better put coulombs down in the bottom. We want to get electrons, so let's put electrons up in the top. And what do we know? Well, one electron has how much charge in coulombs? 1.6 1 .6 times 10 to the minus 19. So this is really the number one. It's in some funky units, but it's the number one. One electron equals 1 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 coulombs. That's it. And now we just have numbers to multiply. The units here cancel. And we get 50 times 10 to the minus 6 divided by 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19. And we're left with electrons. And now you can run this number in your calculator. I'll approximate it here. 50 over 1.6. Uh, that's the same as 5 times 10 to the minus 7, or sorry, 5, right? 5 times 10 to the minus 5 divided by 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19. And 5 over 1.6, it's got to be really close to 3, right? Maybe a little bit more, 3.1 times... 10 to the what? We've got a minus 5 up there. We have a minus 19, so we're going to add 19 to a negative 5, and so we get 14. And did anybody punch it into a calculator? What would you get? Same thing? Okay, good. Same thing. Okay. This is the beauty of doing math in your head, and also the beauty of doing the lecture twice. <laughs> All right. So we've got 3.1 times 10 to the 14, 
And this is a number of electrons. That's how many electrons you pick up. And these, we said, were probably realistic numbers. So that's sort of amazing, right? This is 310 trillion electrons that you pick up just walking across the carpet. So there's little fibers with tons of those electrons just ready to jump off and land on you. OK, any questions about that one? There's a second part to it, which is how much mass does that correspond to? And you can do that conversion yourself. All you need to know is the mass of the electron, which we know is 9.1 times 10 to the minus 31 kilograms.